I met Jim Goodenow as a member of Veterans for Peace through my work with IVAW, Iraq Veterans Against the War. And I was part of a wave of veterans who got back from Iraq and Afghanistan. And for me, it was actually getting out of the military in the end of 2006 and moving to D.C. in, in 2007 that got me going. And from the beginning, Jim was always just an epic part of the scene. He had such an incredible energy. He'd been around for so long and just been the kind of guy who takes the joy from activism that you're supposed to. And I had two really amazing experiences with him and the Yellow Rose of Texas Bus for Peace. And the first one was when, uh, when I got in trouble with the Marines in 2007 for protesting in uniform for our, our street theater action and you know, Operation First Casualty when we did the mock combat patrols in DC. And then Jim actually made it so that I could say, oh yeah, you want to make us go to Kansas City for this kangaroo court hearing? Well, I'm going to bring a bus full of veteran activists and we're going to make a party out of it. And it was Jim's bus and it was Jim who made that possible. We had a big press conference when we left DC and then again when we arrived in, uh, in Kansas City at Marine, uh, what is it? Marine Inactive Reserve, Marine Ready Reserve, whatever the hell, IRR headquarters and uh, had our fun little kangaroo court hearing. It was just awesome to have the bus be there as a part of it. And the other one was the, uh, the big tour that we did with the Rock Veterans Against the War. And um, I didn't get to sleep in the bus all the time while I was driving the, uh, the scout vehicle, my Bronco. But being able to spend that much time with Jim and, and really appreciate his activism, his commitment. And, and I, don't, I, you know, I think one of the things you learn from having been around Jim is that the guy who's exhibiting the kind of commitment that he is, for him it, it really wasn't like a sense of commitment or obligation or duty. And I think it's really beautiful in a, in a bigger sense today to see people moving past that because for him it was always about the joy of the activism itself and even being around a bunch of angry young vets, you know, he was just always had a smile on his face, always in a good mood. And uh, you know it was it was really beautiful to see that, that he himself took his experience as a as a veteran as well, and and put it towards that greater cause. And you know, I think the entire generation of anti-war veterans around the global war on terror, really those of us who were active and, and had the honor of working with them, but even even everybody who's been active in, in this generation of activists has been touched by by Jim and his work.